Vitali from Russia. This is going to from Austria. <laughs> Sailing is fun. Sailing is fun. Shopping is fun. Carrying is really fun. <laughs> and chirpy <jerky> seas. <laughs> Inside the boat, 37 degrees. It's roughly 2,500 miles uh, from Salvador in Brazil up to Tobago. The first 500 miles we had to tack hard on the wind against wind and current. Luckily our catamaran goes pretty well to windward. We had very light winds so it was easy without big waves. We knew that there was a race in progress from France to Brazil. We met five or six of these racing boats. They were doing 15 to 20 knots. We made 8 to 10. So as soon as you saw them, they were here. A bit scary, especially in the night. After the Cape, we had southeasterly winds. It was from behind, so it was easy sailing again. As nearer we came to the intertropical conversion zone, where two weather systems meet, there was squally weather. The wind picked up sometimes to 35 knots, pretty fast sailing. And then we had days after days with very, very low wind. It was incredibly hot. Very tasty. I think we didn't have sashimi for half a year. The Spanish met will absolutely want to it. After 19 days at sea, we sailed into Tobago. Where Tobago sweet and Tobago nice. Yeah, yeah. But like a sugar and spice. Yeah, she tell me Tobago is paradise. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tobago sweet, baby, baby, boy, and Tobago nice. All right, my humble advice is the people Tobago is paradise. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was lining with some white friends from Germany, and look, they tell me they sail down this Caribbean sea. I've been here in Tobago, uh, 1997. So if I calculate right, this is about 22, 23 years ago. And I love this island. It's so different to the other uh, Caribbean islands. It's laid back, uh, quiet. People are absolutely wonderful, friendly, funny. After 20 years, you are back in Charlottesville. So use the main man. And? I eat at this restaurant a lot of roti. A lot of roti. A lot of roti. This was the roti man <laughs> in the restaurant. 
in Tobago yes. originally. Yes. It's a nice place. Yeah. Man, you can come. Men to Tobago have lovely people, lovely food, natural atmosphere. I was here 20 years ago. I think I know you. No, no, no. I think I, I look different. No, <laughs> no, that's... I went in Paris Bay. Paris Bay? The beach one here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like Paris Bay. You was here. I think I remember you. My name is Dave. I'm from Charlottesville. I'm taking them around the island to see things that they have never seen in their lives. Ray, Ray, Ray. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is you. It's my daughter, so man. Oh gosh. We call this is our local moonshine. It's strictly made from fruits. And we foment it. After you foment it, you distill it. Now I'm filling up a bottle here for my good friend from Austria and my other good friend here from Russia. And let's go and interview this guy. He's retired from his from his job from the government. You see, this is this is all he has: his small house, his dogs. The sheep, <laughs> and he makes a big garden here. In the back. So what are you growing actually? Well, mostly I've maybe seen sip trees, zabuka, mangoes, bananas, planting, dashing, but then more to the hill. So you're self-sufficient? Yeah, I good. I was working and I just let I just resigned and I back home. So you enjoy your life? Live good? And you will feel good right to your life. I come forever. What, you, what do you think? What is joy? How you, how you how feel live. that it's you? How you are living is joy. It was yeah. another joy to meet you today. Yeah? yeah. To talk to me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you see right around the edges here, so? Mm -hmm. There where the roots grow. Mm -hmm. Right around the edge. So if you put it in this book here. Okay. And leave it. Couple days when I open it. Okay. You see the roots coming out right there? Uh -huh. With uh -huh. the young plants. I think it's what they call in Europe Kalampoe. Could be, could be. I think, I think. Could, could, could yeah. Be, yeah. I like this plant. Yes, I will plant it, sure. That's why you see the people here are so healthy and strong. <laughs> Please put in water and drink it. Right? Drink wow. it. From Castara. So, which um, bread do you make? Pumpkin bread, whole wheat bread, sweet bread. We also have coconut tart, coconut drops, and coconut bun. So, when we finish putting all the bread and everything, we cover it again with this one in front here. In front too. And you leave it So, the fire is gone? Yes. So, you leave it for 5, 10, 15 minutes for the most, and then you take it back out. Everything is. Yeah, I cover it with the bush and yeah, with the banana leaves. You leave it open like this. We then, get the bird, black. then the bird get a dark color. Oh, the oven is very hot. Yeah. They are ready? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> this bread is much nicer than the bread of the supermarket. Yeah. Why? Because it's more, it's more heavy and it's more tasty. The island is this small, you get around easily in one day. And tomorrow we go out with the fishermen, trying to catch some fish. If you need to go with me tomorrow, then we can catch some fish tomorrow. They call me Boat Boy. Nobody know me by Joseph. They call me Boat Boy because from the time I leave school, 
I've been working these small boats here. We're going and fishing to catch some kingfish or something like that. Kingfish, tuna, or my my. Just jump in a boat. You put your lines out. If fish is there for you, then they pull your line. Go on and we see if we can catch a kingfish. One one tank of gas. Four hours. Sometimes you catch all five, six kingfish. You catch only one, you still can buy back your gas. Yeah. Full moon, we catch plenty of fish. Big kingfish. Sometimes you run about half an hour. You catch about seven kingfish. Once the on the ground pulling, you catch more than that sometime in half an hour time. So we were just unlucky today. Of course. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If none is there for you, you get no pull on your line. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. It is time to lift the anchor and sail from Charlottesville down to the main town Scarborough to see the famous Tobago Carnival. This you will see in one of our next films. Mm -hmm.